Hello and welcome to my channel Pharmacy in Depth where we'll talk about pharmacy related topics in detail. Today we will study about fluidized bed dryer or FBD. FBD is extensively used in pharmaceutical industry for reducing the moisture content of granules, powders and pellets. In a simple tablet manufacturing process, after mixing and granulation, drying is a very crucial step before compression of the tablets. This drying is mostly done by fluidized bed dryers. Fluidized bed dryers are based on the principle of fluidization, in which hot air is introduced at high pressure through a perforated bed of moist solid particles. The wet solids are lifted from bottom and are suspended in a stream of hot air, which is called the fluidized state. Heat transfer is accomplished by direct contact between wet solid and hot gases. The vaporized liquid is carried away by drying gases and by this mechanism the particles are dried inside a fluidized bed dryer. This is a simple representation of a fluidized bed dryer with all its accessories and parts. First let's see what are various parts of the air processing unit. There is an inlet for air to enter into the fluidized bed dryer. Then there are coarse and fine filters for filtering the air. There is a dehumidifier which dehumidifies or reduces the moisture content of the inlet air. Then there is heater for heating the air up to the required temperature. And finally at the end there are HEPA filters which are high efficiency particulate air filters which filters completely the air which is entering into the fluidized bed dryer. The dryer is divided into four main sections. First one is the bottom wind inlet chamber. Then second is the product container. Third chamber is the expansion chamber where the drying happens and the fourth is the top filtering chamber which consists of filter bags and a telescopic type cylinder for filter bag shaking. Other than this there are other accessories of a fluidized bed dryers like there is a trolley which is attached to the product container for loading and unloading of the product into the product container. There is inlet temperature sensor which controls the temperature of the inlet air. There is product temperature sensor which tells the actual temperature of the product. There are stainless steel clamps and rubber inflatable gaskets for complete sealing of product container with the bottom weight inlet chamber. There is sampling port for taking out the sample in between. There is view glass and there is a blower fan with exhaust at the top and the exit of the air. Now let's see how a fluidized wet dryer works. So first we open the clamps and take out the product container by moving the trolley out. We charge the container with the product to be dried. This product container has a perforated bottom with a high mesh number sieve so that it only allows the air to pass through it and not the particles to be dried. After loading it is moved back to its place with the clamps locked. After locking the exhaust fan starts creating a partial negative pressure inside the fluidized bed dryer which draws the air inside the chamber. This air is filtered and heated to a specified temperature and reaches the bottom wind inlet chamber. From here it moves with high pressure into the chamber passing through filter bags and finally leaving through the exhaust outlet. This pressure of the air suspends the particles to be dried into the stream of air which is called the fluidized state. In this stage the drying of particle happens and the particles are dried completely. Filter bags at the top are shaken occasionally so that the particles which are trapped inside it can be recovered. The filter bags are such so that it can only allow the air to pass and not the particles. The frequency of filter bag shaking can be set from the control panel. For example, 10 shakings for every 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So guys, this was a simple visual representation showing the construction, various parts and working of a fluidized bed dryer. Fluidized bed dryer has a lot of advantages like it takes low time to complete drying as compared to other dryers. Drying is achieved at a constant rate. Handling time is also short. It's available in different sizes with different types of drying capacities. The equipment is simple and less labor cost is needed. It facilitates the drying of thermolabile substances since contact time of drying is very short. But there are some disadvantages also. Like many organic powders develop electrostatic charges during drying. So to avoid this efficient electrical grounding of dryer is needed. Also there are chances of attrition of some materials which results in production of very small fines. A fluidized bed dryer has a lot of applications like it is used for drying and mixing of powders and agglomeration of materials. It is used for granulation and coating of powders, granules, tablets, pellets and beads. It is used as a fluidized bed reactor for solid separations 
and for heat and mass transfer. The modified fluidized bed dryers are used in precision granulation, top spray granulation, spray drying granulation and granulation coating. So guys this was all about fluidized bed dryers, its principle, construction, working, advantages, disadvantages and applications. Thanks for watching the video, I really hope you liked it and if you did, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel.